Hi, this is Mike Shackelford with The Wizard of Odds, and I'm at the 2014 Raving Table Game Show at the Paris Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. And I'm here with Vinny with Lucky 13s. This is one of the most interesting games that I saw at the uh, Global Gaming Expo a couple months ago. And I'm back uh, to see it again, fortunately, at the Raving Show. Vinny, can you tell me the uh, thrust of the game? Yeah, it's quite simple, Mike. Um, it's basically blackjack, but it's actually based on an alternate deck. And the deck includes cards worth 11, 12, and 13. So that's like 11 of hearts, 11 of diamonds, 11 of spades, 11 of clubs. So that adds 12 cards to every deck. So it's generally played as a multi-deck game out of continuous shuffling machine. And players can just sit down and play it straight away. It plays much the way normal blackjack. But just a few th cool things can happen due to those extra high value cards. Now it's really interesting, in this game, the dealer actually stands on 16 instead of 17 or more. So that's actually perceived as a really player friendly rule because just like Mike then, if they've got anything that is 17 or higher, those pet hands will just pay out. Uh -huh. So does this um, alternative deck with uh, 11s, 12s and 13s help or hurt the player? Well, in a lot of ways it helps the player, like if you know anything about blackjack, more big cards in play uh, creates more dealer bust. It's a big advantage for the player being able to see a 12 or 13 in the hole, because those bust really often, even more than say a 5 or 6 in normal blackjack. Also when the 13 is up in the dealer's hand, all those side bet payouts, they're multiplied by 5. So something that normally wins 40 to 1, it'll pay 200 to 1. So it really has that dynamic where uh, the smart player really feels like they're winning more often and creating more dealer busts. Dealer busts are great because it make, makes the table happy and uh, yeah, everyone has a, has a good time. Now, does the player get disappointed if they bust on their first two cards or is there any way the player can hedge against that happening? Well, you actually hit the nail on the head there, Mike, because uh, one thing about the game is, yeah, you can be dealt something over 21 with your initial two cards and that couldn't happen in normal blackjack. So actually... Uh, there's a special bet you can make, we call it the protection bet. Now that's an optional bet the player can make before the deal. And it's just in the, the green circle there. And that'll pay out if they get dealt anything over 21, which of course is a busted hand on their main bet. But if it is a pair that's over 21, like a pair of 11s or 12s or a pair of 13s, they'll still win, that, still win the bet for going over 21. But their hand's not dead because they could still split that or they can choose to bust. So that's a really new type of decision as well, the player making like a split or bust decision. So it's really exciting and people quite enjoy playing so far. All right, thank you very much for showing me Lucky 13s.